Who hasn't dreamed of living right on the water? Oh, it's so pretty. I'm Seth Stisher, and I can make that dream come true. You are right on the water. Wow. It's unreal. This is spectacular. This is amazing. Coming up, Mike and Elaine are looking for a house in Cotton Valley, St. Croix in the US Virgin Islands. This is great, we get to do this every day. I know. Elaine wants a modern home with a sprawling floor plan where she can entertain. Look, this rolls out. I think it's a little too modern for me. Mike wants a cozy island home where he can kick back with a beer and enjoy the sea views. This is all outdoor space. Oh, that is awesome. Will Mike and Elaine realize their dream of waterfront living? <laughs> you need to put that down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Find out next. My name is Elaine, and this is my husband, Mike, and we have been married for almost nine years now. We moved down to St. Croix about a year ago from Florida and never looked back. This is great. We get to do this every day. This is pretty amazing. I grew up in a very small town, 30 minutes away from Wisconsin border, and I just always wanted to be on the water. My family had a lake house in Indiana, so I always had a fishing pole on my hand. I am a general manager at a Mexican restaurant. I quit my job back in Florida to start an inshore fishing charter. I hung up the suit and traded it for board shorts and a lot of sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have a three bedroom, three bath. I have to have an open floor plan for entertaining, updated to the T. I really want amazing views, period. I want an awesome pool, and I definitely want the island tropical feel, whereas I know she wants that modern feel. It always has to be about me, come on. Our budget for this home is $650,000 to $750,000. That's it. But if there's something that perfect, I mean, we might have to go above. I'm in Cotton Valley, St. Croix in the US Virgin Islands. I'm working with Mike and Elaine, who moved here a year ago and are looking for their little piece of paradise. Cotton Valley is going to be the ideal place for their island lifestyle. Welcome, Welcome to Cotton Valley, St. Croix in the US Virgin Islands. Yay! If you want to stand on the most eastern point of the United States, then come to St. Croix. When you live on an island, this is your backyard. If you want to buy a home in Cotton Valley, you can spend anywhere between 200,000 to multi-million. St. Croix is the largest and most beautiful of the U.S. Virgin Islands. <laughs> the first property I'm showing Mike and Elaine is a modern, spacious home with rustic mountain and water views. It's priced towards the higher end of their budget at $725,000, but this home has been recently updated, which I know Elaine will enjoy. Hey, guys. Good morning. Good How morning. are you? Hey, pleasure to finally hey, meet you. Great to meet you guys. Same here. Exciting. Fishing couple, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you guys have laid out some really good wants and needs. This house, it's near the top of your budget. This is $725. Pick up more fishing charters, I guess. Yeah, you're going to have to <laughs> work a little harder. You know, yeah. there's trade-offs, yeah. right? All right, let's get in there. Good. Here it is. Wow. Oh, oh, that's in. amazing. This is awesome. Automatically, I was just in awe. Nice, modern, up to date. You look right through the windows and just see the beautiful ocean. Yeah. I do love the open floor concept, and this is very nice. Yeah, I love the exposed beams, but I know we could probably change this, is the natural wood look right. to the beams. Mike and Elaine have very different ideas of what they want stylistically out of the home. She really likes the modern feel, whereas he likes a little more of a warm, cozy feel. You can add some of that accent with some wood here and there to really give it that warmth. 
So you find the perfect balance for both of them. Paint everything brown, make it like a fishing cabin in the woods. There you Absolutely go. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, follow me through here. So you can tell, very updated. It's got a really fresh kind of feel to it. You've got the butcher block counter there. I love it. That is really nice. Plenty of storage for fish in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look, this rolls out. Very modern, very neat. Plenty of room to grill up some nice fish inside here. The kitchen was really nice. Updated, modern, is amazing. It's nice, but I'm not sure I like the white cabinets and the backsplash there. I would like a little bit more of that island, tropical, tiki feel. It's the extremely wow. large master bedroom. Wow. Wow, look at that view. I love it. Check this out. This is a nice bed. Ugh. Get your feet, get your shoes off the bed. <laughs> My new Facebook profile. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> Let's check out the bathroom. Master bathroom. Wow. Oh, very so nice. Great. Plenty of room for my products, too, by the way. Yes, you have a lot of your products. Because <laughs> you definitely need a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I like the dark wood. You know, I think it'd look great with the exposed beams up there, the nice dark wood matching, right? No, absolutely not. You're going to have to keep this white because it gives so much light. Evidently, you're not the designer. Really not. No, <laughs> not, not. A lot of times, you just can't have every detail that you want. It's super important to figure out where it's logical to compromise and where you really have to stick to your true desires. There's a whole lot more to see. Awesome. Great. Let's Moving on. Wow. It's a pretty good size. Yeah. Be perfect for, you know, storage regarding my fishing stuff. Your mom would love this room. Right. Now, this also Stay. has its own bathroom that okay. also connects to the main area, and there's a bedroom on the other end of the house. We've seen that view in a couple of spots. Yeah. Let's head out there and really check it out. Awesome. Okay. Amazing outdoor space. This is nice. Killer pool. Pool's great. Well, a space over here is perfect outdoor living space. This be, is wonderful. Be a great place to bring home the fresh catch and uh, fire up the grill, have everybody over after fishing. It sounds perfect. Now, having seen all of this, what do you think of the house overall? I really like it. It's great for entertaining. I think it's a little too modern for me. I think uh, a little bit more tropical, uh, islandy, beachy would be perfect. Ah, uh, no. We're good right here. Well, the good thing about this, this is the first one. Okay. Yeah. We've got two more to look at. Yeah. We'll meet up tomorrow. We'll look at house number two. OK. Awesome. And, Very excited. Uh, have another great day with it, OK? Sounds good. Sweet. All right, let's get out of here. Awesome. Thank you. Mike wants a home where he can look out directly to the sea. So I'm going to show them this Caribbean bungalow with expansive water views. Priced at 700,000, it has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and that tropical island feel that Mike desires. I felt like we had a great start we yesterday, yeah. but I am really excited to show you house number two. I already like the outside. Okay, a little yes. color's good yeah, for you, huh? Yeah, gives Definitely. it the island feel. All right. It's a little cheaper, too. This oh. is good, a little less expensive. Right. It's okay. $700,000. I like that we're going down, but still still pretty high, though. Okay, well, wait do you see it. Good. <laughs> you want to get in and check it out? Yes, yeah. can't Let's wait. Wow. Still got that open concept. Yeah. This is cool. I Not like that, huh? Yeah. yeah. I love it. We talked about the entertaining space. Right. This is all outdoor space. Oh, that is awesome. The living room here was really cool. You know, you felt like you were outside. It's got a great view. Yeah. You can't get over it. I think the darkness of the wood with the colors that they have on the walls, it doesn't feel like it's so bright white as yeah, it did. Yeah, the painted wall and the, the built-in. Yeah, I like it. I'd be okay with it like that. And the tropicalness, just everything about it gave me that island tropical vibe that I've been looking for. We will definitely have to change that paint color, though. That's not your favorite? No. <laughs> what would you go with? I don't know what color I'd paint it. Definitely not white. 
Well, no. What's wrong with white? House number one was white? It was all white. Outside, inside, beams, everything was white. That's yeah. true. I you guess know, a little lot. color is nice. All right, so let's move into Moving the kitchen. On. Yes. All right, so the kitchen's a little bit different than what you saw yesterday. Wow. Yes, it is. It's a different look and feel for sure, right? Yes. Okay. I do like the open concept, but... I'm waiting for the obvious <laughs> here. Well, all the appliances are going to have to go. No. And what are we going to do with Tweety Bird? We got, that has to go, what? for sure. Yes. That is nature. I do like the cabinets, but house number one was really nice, white, clean. We are still high in the budget, and with some of the upgrades, the appliances taken down that backsplash, we're going to be up where I don't really want to be. <laughs> Master bedroom right wow. off the living space. This is really amazing. I love it. The master bedroom in house number two is amazing. It gives me that tropical vibe. Yeah, you know, this view is definitely a lot better than right. the house number one. Yeah, I could get used to that. <laughs> well, let's check out the uh, master bathroom. All right. All right. I it's pretty really impressive like visually immediately, isn't it? Yeah. This is cool. Where are you going to put your hairspray? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, we've got to talk no. about that because. You do have this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The medicine cabinet style yeah. uh, mirror there. Okay. Check out the shower. I love this. I know. It's beautiful. Got the rain shower head. It's, it's awesome. I can just that imagine is. taking a shower in there and having it start to rain, get a little island tropical shower rolling through. Yeah. All right. Let's see the rest of it. Okay. Awesome. And here's the other bedroom. Nice. Still got a great view. You love the view, but I think this might be the good spot for fishing gear. When your family comes down, we need a lot of space. But I just, I think it's a perfect space for the fishing gear. Speaking of that view, let's cool. go check it out a little closer. Great. Wow. Yeah? This is pretty cool. This is great. I know the pool's smaller, but I can work with it. I mean, the view is that much better. But house number one, I mean. The butts, here we go. I, I just know. said it was perfect. I know. You didn't hear me? But <laughs> when we looked at house number one, it was definitely more modern. The kitchen was absolutely beautiful. Well, the good news is we still got another one. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you do fishing charters. Yep. Let's take that great boat of yours out. Have a look at some property from the water, get nice. a different perspective. Perfect. Maybe we'll catch something we can grill up. All right, well, let's get out of here. Cool. Sounds good. Mike and Elaine are going to pick me up at the dock. We're going to do a little fishing. We're going to see some houses. And then we're going to head over and check out house number three. Hey, good morning, Seth. Hi. Welcome aboard the boat. I'm kind of fired up, to be honest. Good. Yeah. All right, let's go. Great. See this? House number two, right along the hillside there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do see that. House number two, I can't get over the sliding doors just bringing that view. Outside, but though. now remember, the, the modern kitchen was just amazing in house number one. They, they're both great options, right. undoubtedly. So is this a good spot? Let's see what we can muster up today. I'm going to give you this guy right. right here. Swing back and let her fly. All right, now catch dinner. Well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> there you go. That didn't work. <laughs> that was a good one, though. That wind's a little strong. I didn't see anyone catching anything out here today. Now we're going to go hungry tonight. <laughs> oh, boy. You know Aww. what? Steaks are on me. Let's go to house three. All right, let's do I it. I agree. Let's go. The last house I'm showing Mike and Elaine is a charming villa perched up in the hills overlooking the sea. With three bedrooms and three bathrooms, this home has an updated kitchen for Elaine and a tropical island vibe for Mike. It's not as spacious as the other two homes, but this one is priced at the low end of their budget at $650,000. All right, so house number three right behind us. Awesome, looks good. So excited. It's 2,000 square feet, so it's just a little bit Small. smaller, but it's laid out kind of interestingly. And let's get in there and check it out. Awesome, let's Great. go check it out. Let's All right. go. Now 
this is an island home. Wow. That's awesome. This is really cool. I yeah, love this, this step neat. down. Now, you know, you mentioned you like the white kind of open ceiling, but you wish yeah. there was some wood accent. Ah, oh, that is. There's your wood that accent. Is that is actually really neat. That's perfect. Yeah, well, this is get great. in here and kind of feel it out a little bit. Chilling oh, yeah. right there, watching sports. Yeah. I right. also heard you were quite the conch player. I have been known to uh, play once in a while. <laughs> You need to put that yeah, in. Yeah, you know, I kind of wish I hadn't done that. Still open concept like the others. A little different like layout. It's a little smaller in the living room, I think. I'm, I'm comfortable. It's cozy. The open floor plan of this house kind of got cut off just a little bit of the living room. House number one and house number two, I mean, I can definitely entertain into the living room. So it all opens up, all the way down. And it's a pretty spacious kitchen. Look at these. That's I like how modern the kitchen is, especially like house number one. It's nice and clean. This works. All right, we have to go with stainless, though. Well, you know what's great about that? $650,000. You got money to play with. You can buy a few appliances That's with the true. stainless, right? All right, let's yeah. move on. Master's right down here. Wow. This is pretty open. You can even hear that breeze off those palm trees and stuff, which is nice. It does make you feel like you're right in the islands, which is what I've been wanting. All right, well, let's check out the master's. All right. Perfect. Once again, this is that open feel, which is yeah. awesome. Is that seriously the shower? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, That's man. amazing. That's oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh, that glass wall really brought that natural light in. Cool. Well, let's see the rest of it. Cool. Great. This is nice. It's good space. Good space. Even a little uh, nook up there for fishing gear. Like, I think this would be a good <laughs> spot for it. You're not going to put your fishing stuff in here. It's hard to get that fishy smell out. <laughs> This is one of two additional bedrooms, three total. It's got a dedicated like bathroom, it. and so does the other one. You guys want to get outside and yeah, check it out? Yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh. Wow. Amazing outdoor space. This, this wow. view is spectacular, too. It really is. And you know what? Great little feature for you. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah. You've always wanted a Little Mermaid. So you've seen all of it, but what do you think of this house? This house is great. You really hit home on this one with a budget. But it's a little smaller, and house number one had that modern touch. Definitely not the view, though. You got a lot to think about <laughs> here, <laughs> right? You got a lot we of do. great options. Yeah. We'll meet back later, and you guys can tell me what you choose, OK? Great. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, okay. let's go. Seth showed us three amazing houses. I really think he hit home on everything we wanted, and it's going to be a compromise now to figure out which one we're going to pick. Well, let's start the uh, difficult part of this. I mean, house number one was great. You get in, that living room is beautiful. The kitchen is updated. It was at the top of the budget, and it didn't give me that island vibe right away. House two, when I walked up, that yellow grabbed me. I was like, wow. It was by far the best view out of all three days. But pool is small. It was a small pool. On to house number three. Another great house that really looks like the islands. And the beams. I really like that. But it remember, so it was good. so small in the living room. What's happening, guys? Hey, Seth. Hi. Glad How's to see going? you haven't killed you? each other yet. No, no, just trying to work out the details now. One of the things that I think is a great way to handle this is eliminate one. I have to take away house number one. It's at the top of the budget. OK, then we got to make sure that I get the upgraded kitchen. Which is it going to be, house number two or house number three? We chose house, house number, number two. two.
we picked house number two because I can make anything modern, and that view was just amazing. I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. Well, hey, look who it is. I guess Hi. I'm late to the party, huh? <laughs> it's great to see you. You too. We absolutely just love this place, so I'm so excited. These are our friends, E.T. and Tom. E.T., I'm Seth. Seth nice, nice to meet you. Hey, Seth, nice to meet hey, you. Hey, Tom, nice to meet you. Do you guys have a view like this? <laughs> we don't, sadly. I can no. help you with that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a dream come true. You do have to pinch yourself when you wake up in the morning. So, well, hey, cheers. 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 I love waking up every day and looking at that view, and it's just amazing. So glad that we got this for our first home. We did a great job. Yep. Who hasn't dreamed of living right on the water? Oh, it's so pretty. I'm Seth Stisher, and I can make that dream come true. You are right on the water. Wow. That's unreal. This is spectacular. This is amazing. Coming up, Curtis and Rocco are looking to buy a house in Kona, Hawaii. It's so beautiful out here. This is gonna be what we get to see from our own home. Curtis wants a spacious house with ocean views and doesn't mind dropping the big bucks to get it. This is awesome. This is like, this I, is I'm cool. speechless. It's like a total little oasis. Rocco wants an updated home with a chef's kitchen, but he doesn't want to break the bank. Wow, this is open to the living room. It's also a lot cheaper. Will Curtis and Rocco find their dream of waterfront living? Those oh open man, beams. I love the open beams. Look at that <laughs> view, jeez. That this view is, is awesome. Find out next. so beautiful out here. This is gonna be what we get to see from our own home. I'm Curtis, and this is my handsome fiance, Rocco. And we, together with our little man, Gavin, our chewiner, live in the beautiful town of Kona, Hawaii. Can I have a shake? Oh, okay, deal. I grew up in the southwest region of the United States, and I've always felt healthier and happier when I'm by the water. And Kona just seemed to be a good fit for me. It's a beautiful life, it really is. I am actually from Reno, Nevada. I think the idea of living on an island is a luxury. And when I moved to Hawaii, we were really lucky to have the opportunity to buy a bar here in Kona. You got all the beer counted? I'm still working on it, but it looks like we had a really good weekend again. Yeah. The things that are important to me are four bedrooms for friends and family to be coming over. I do really want a big open kitchen that's preferably updated. We do prefer an open concept for entertaining. Views, I didn't move here not to have a view. And the little man, Gavin, he's gotta have somewhere where he could just lounge. Our budget is from 890 to about 990,000. But if it takes the full budget, it takes the full budget. We'll see. I'm in Kona, Hawaii, which is on the western side of the Big Island. Kona's an active town with tons of water sports. I'm working with Rocco and Curtis. I know they're gonna love their new home in Kona. Welcome, Welcome to, to Kona, Kona, Hawaii, Hawaii on, on the, the Big, Big Island. Island. Yeah. We have the best coffee in the world. Here on the Big Island, we get to do this every day. The best bars and restaurants on the Big Island are in Kona. Out of any island to live on, the only island is the Big Island of Hawaii. The first property I'm showing Curtis and Rocco is an entertainer's dream. Perched on a hilltop overlooking the ocean, this home has plenty of space for them to host lavish parties. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Seth, how are you? How are you? Hi, nice Seth. to see you in nice person. Nice to meet you, Rocco, finally. Curtis, good to meet you both. You too. Yeah. Wow, this looks awesome. This Definitely. one's going to be a great start. It is near the top of your budget. Whoa. But it's a lot of house and a lot of space. <laughs> I'm okay with it. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys ready to check it out? Sure. Oh, for sure. Let's do it. All right. I 
I totally love it. Oh, oh open man, beams. I love the open beams. Yeah. The space is amazing. Like, it I totally love it. feel it out like I it's could, yours. Oh, yeah. This is tons of people, entertaining. Look at that <laughs> view. Jeez. What do you think of that built-in with a mirror? That's a little 80s. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely going to be fixtures and things like that that you're not in love with. But if the bones and the structure and the space appeal to you, you got to be able to look past those little fixtures, as you know. Exists. Yes, we're good for, for that. Sure. Yeah. All right. So you got this great open floor plan, which you asked for. You've got the dining room there, and it moves into this kitchen with a massive island. Wow, this is huge. I like it. If our guests are still here and they're mingling and hanging out, I can still You're not kind of be a part of it. Yeah. And this is nice, you know, this is definitely enough space. These are nice because the drawers slide out. I really do like the oven too. You have microwave and convection and regular there. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I do like how this is open. I love being able to see out into the yard. It's nice that there's a lot of stainless steel going on except for that fridge. These of panels course. are replaceable on this type of fridge, so you could always turn this into what you want it to be as far as the aesthetics of it. The only thing I'm not liking so much are the, the cabinets. There's just a lot of wood happening in here. And what is this? <laughs> this just has to go. It's massive and very outdated. The cabinetry would have to be redone at some point. There's a lot of money that needs to go into taking out that massive 80s style lamp. That could potentially be a lot of money down the road. This is the master. Wow. I love that this part is all vaulted. That's really amazing. I can't even imagine what we would do with all of this space, honestly. So this will be our bed, and then that'll be Gavin's bed. I'm yeah, the little guy's got a massive island <laughs> to sleep on. There's no reason he shouldn't. <laughs> That master bedroom is just over the top. <laughs> I don't know what we would do with that entire space. I can totally picture making that ours. Why don't we take a look at a master bath? Wow. Holy cow. <laughs> this is intense. What about these closets? And you've wow. got one on the other side as well. OK. And you got the party tub. Oh, my god. <laughs> it's huge. I hate to bring it up, but I just really can't live with this marble. It's very dated. We might have to just rethink the bathroom. And that stuff gets expensive, for sure. Is it only a tub in this bathroom? It kind of looks Interesting like. Interesting you should say. OK. okay. All right, so you, you wanted a shower? <laughs> This is plenty of shower. Oh. This is huge. As much as I love this, oh boy. someone has to clean it. Yeah. All right, well, we got a lot more house cool. to see. So there's three bedrooms, three bathrooms down here. Love the floors, the view. I love it. I do like it. It just feels like so much house. It's a lot of rooms. Maybe Gavin gets his own room. I, I think you're onto something there. <laughs> We need to go out on that porch, though, and just see what it's all about. Sure, all right. yeah, let's all go right. look. Follow me back up. All right. Wow. That view wow. is awesome. You can see all the way down the coastline, which is intense. That's amazing. Look at the size of this. You got this long, sprawling front porch that wraps all the way around. And I can totally see us having coffee or wine. There's more to see. Cool. Like a little paradise. Wow. This is awesome. This is like, this I, is I'm cool. speechless. It's like a total little oasis. I could see all of our friends hanging out here. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is definitely going to be like the party house. What do you think about all this? I love it. We asked for space for friends and family to come visit, and I feel like this place really did hit it. Definitely a contender, but of course, it's still at the top end of the budget, and there's still a lot of stuff that needs to be replaced. We've got two more to see. Cool. Awesome. I'll meet you tomorrow. We'll do the same thing with house number two. Cool, cool. Sounds Can't good. Wait. All right. The next house I'm showing Curtis and Rocco has great space for gatherings and water views for miles. 
It's not as spacious as house number one, but it's over $100,000 less. Another great day, another great house. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Okay. I love all of the foliage. It has a really pretty yard. Gavin would love just sitting right there <laughs> in the, the sunshine. King of the world right yeah. there. Yeah. Kind of downsized a little, yeah. but it's less than what we dealt with that's yesterday. Nice. That's good. He likes that. Yes. <laughs> Lower budget. All right, well, let's go check okay, it out. Okay, cool. Wow, this is awesome. Cool. Yeah. Definitely open. I love the flow that it's still good for entertaining. Your dining room is down here, and with all of this extra space, you can configure it however you want. It feels nice. It's all done, for sure. Except maybe buy this uh, spinning coffee table. <laughs> That's either really cool or really tacky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's anything in here that we would come in and have to do. That saves a lot on the budget, for sure. This ceiling is very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. But I do miss those beams from yesterday. And I'm feeling like it's a little bit narrower. It is a little more kind of concise. It's not as dramatic. This house has the long, skinny thing going on. I mean, in house number one, it had space, those amazing ceilings. It's different. It wasn't as big as I was hoping for, but it's also a lot cheaper. Get into this kitchen. I like this. The appliances are great. And I like how this is open to the living room, so when we do have guests, I feel like I'm still a part of everything. I like it. It's smaller. It's functional. It definitely can work for us, especially at the lower price point. It might make sense. You guys want to check out the master bedroom? OK, okay cool. Wow, that's the ocean view that we want. I could picture us waking up with that morning view. It's amazing. But I'm feeling like it's a little bit narrower yeah. than we were experiencing at the other house. Well, let's check out the master bathroom. OK. Oh, wow. It's modern. It's updated. We've got a tub. We could wash Gavin in that. Yeah. That's a perfect Gavin that's bathtub. That's a perfect Gavin tub. Well, we got more house to see, so cool. follow me. This oh, is wow. one of two very similar additional bedrooms. OK. And they both share a bathroom. I like how bright and open it is. It's nice. Best part, you need outdoor space. We got outdoor yes. space. Yes. All right, here it is. I love how big this lanai is. I mean, it goes all the way down the side of the house. That's amazing. Yeah. Perfect lanai here. Nice pool, pool right behind there. us. Then look, the view still. That really has me kind of considering it. Yeah. It was a nice backyard. It's definitely a space we could entertain in. I like this house, how it feels more updated. And I like how it's under budget. But it was a little small. i tell you what I'd like to do. Tomorrow, let's go out on the water. See houses from a different perspective, enjoy the water, then we'll worry about house number three. Sound OK? Cool, yeah, that that's great. Awesome. Let's go. All right. Rocco and Curtis are meeting me here this morning. I'm going to send them up in a parasail, and they're going to see houses from a very different perspective. Then we're going to go see house number three. You want to get a bird's eye view? These guys are going to take you parasailing. That's awesome. Cool, yeah, Sound we've never good? been before. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Come on down, guys. Well, Go ahead, guys. Watch your step. All right, let's do it. How much is that house over there? We're talking several million dollars for yeah. these that are right up next to the water. As you come closer to the water, the price goes up. But there is a bonus being up the hill because sometimes the view is a lot better than it is right down on the water. Sure. So, you guys ready to take them up, let them go parasailing? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Woohoo! Parasail. <laughs> oh. Have fun, boys.
That's awesome! The last awesome show in Curtis and Rocco is larger than house two and cheaper than house one. But the best part is the location. Out of all three homes, this one is closest to the ocean. You've got a nice pool right here. Ample space for guests and entertaining and all such as that. All right, wow. it's time to get in there and check it out then. OK. Thanks, Seth. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. I think we're back to grand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's multiple levels to create some drama. Entertaining here could be really cool. I really like the tile in here. Yeah, the floors I, are nice. But I'm kind of not really digging the wood paneling, and it just feels a little dated compared to house two, where it's more move-in ready, and newer and nicer. That this is actual wood. It's not the regular paneling. When you have wood inside a home on the walls, you can actually sand it, refinish it, or paint it to whatever your liking is. It's different for us, but I think it's something that we could probably work with. Let's check out the kitchen and see how all of this flows together. OK, right? cool. A lot of space to work with. OK. There is a lot of cabinets, which is nice in house two. I like how it was more open to the living area. It's nice to have some updated appliances, but this kitchen feels a little mismatchy. The countertops especially, we got three different ones going right here. The multi-textured countertops, I mean, that's something that would definitely need to be fixed. We still need to see bedrooms. OK. OK. All right, it's the master bedroom. Totally liking that the ceilings are still high in here. It makes the space feel larger. You really loved how big that house number one master bedroom was, but this is kind of a good in between from what we saw yesterday and house one. So let's check out the master bath behind this amazing oh, wow. barn door. It's totally updated. But I really like the finishes in here. I even like the color palette that they chose for the tile. It looks good. Let's go see the rest of it, OK? OK. okay. Now remember, this is four bed, four bath. One of those bedrooms and a dedicated bathroom here, and two more here. OK, cool. All right, so this is one of those three additional bedrooms. I like the space in here. Yeah, it's still a nice big bed. Still the beams throughout. Dedicated bathroom. Yeah, I like that. The bedroom placement was nice. We could totally host people there. I agree. All right. Oh, Some wow. great outdoor oh, yeah. space. This cool. Is, it's quiet and private. And green space for Gavin. Love the backyard, yeah. yeah. I, you know what we're missing, though, is the view of the water. Where's yeah. that? I got something a little better. OK. OK. You got to take a little walk with Sure. Okay. Whoa. Wow. It is. This is so this is awesome. Amazing. Your backyard, you walk right to this access. This close to the water and our price point, that's amazing. Yeah. It's really a contender. There's a lot about it that we like. Those ceilings and the beams. I like the way that the rooms are separate and all of that. I am still kind of worried about all the projects, though. It's going to need some updates. But I do like the space. It's a tough decision, I know. To go talk about it, and then we can meet up later, and you can tell me what you decide. OK. okay. Sounds good. I think we need to go home and figure out what is the most important in our priorities right now. We've got a lot to think about. Seth showed us three really good houses. And they all have some pluses and minuses. Let's look back and see what we saw. House number one, walking in. You uh, immediately see a view. It yeah. really had the space to entertain all of our guests. But there was still a lot that needed to be fixed. That. And that was at our top of our budget. House two. It definitely had an open feel. Everything was already functional. A lot of updated appliances. That's just an easy move in. But I'm really going to miss those guest bedrooms for friends and family. OK. Having. House three. It was an entertaining space. Big and beautiful and islandy. I, I don't know how much I want to sacrifice the views, but we got to walk right to the ocean. Yeah. Excuse so me, so fellas. Hey. How are you, <laughs> Sam? You guys uh, hashed it out yet? I don't know. You showed us three awesome houses. Which one do you think just doesn't add up for you? House number, number three. three. Number three's out. <laughs> oh, OK. Honestly, 
I just think the view really makes a difference. So you've got two great houses left. Yeah. What's it gonna be, house number one or house number two? We chose house number one. The grandest of them all, I would say, right? I know. Even if some of those projects don't happen right away, I like the house enough that I think it's going to be great. We wanted space, and we wanted to have friends and family, and Gavin to have everything that he wanted. <laughs> all right, congratulations, <laughs> guys. We're, We're going to buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> Seth. How are you, Curtis? I'm good. It's good, Seth. Everybody. Hey, everybody. Seth. This is hey, Seth. Seth. More importantly, this is Gavin. Hey, Gavin. what's up, dude? Say hi. This is the guy, huh? I've heard a lot about you. This house has been it's just incredible. Everyone's coming over, hanging out, grilling. Make yourself right. at home. Still got the open feel, but you're touched. Well, and we still have, you know, things that we're working on, but yeah. Every day we enjoy the view. I can never get sick of watching the sunset and just the ocean waves. Thanks Congratulations for on the house as well. Cheers. 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 It was very easy to make ourselves at home. It didn't take any time at all. We're not the only ones enjoying our property, which actually makes us happy. That's why we wanted a big space. So yeah. I think we found our dream house. Blast off. Who hasn't dreamed of living right on the water? Oh, it's so pretty. I'm Seth Stisher, and I can make that dream come true. You are right on the water. Wow. It's unreal. This is spectacular. This is amazing. Coming up, newlyweds Sydney and Luis are looking to buy their first home in Charlotte Amalie St. Thomas in the US Virgin Islands. We're gonna buy a house. I know. Sydney wants a sprawling house with a gorgeous kitchen where they can entertain friends and family. A lot of space right here. This is great. And Luis wants a secluded, cozy home that's not going to break the bank. This is beautiful. But it is a little small. Will these honeymoon house hunters find their waterfront dream home? So when I get mad at you, you could live right in there. We're getting dangerously close to the speed <laughs> over Find out next. Sydney Slate. This is my new husband, Luis. You have an old one? You have this my newlywed husband. Thank you. We're gonna buy a house. I know. I am from El Salvador. Half the country is touching the Pacific Ocean, so that was always near water. I was born in Macon, Georgia. I had never been on a sailboat. I'd never been on a boat in the ocean, and that's why I like water now. <laughs> In December of 2013, a girlfriend of mine from Georgia had moved here, and she got us work in management at two separate prestigious resorts. I showed Luis around the island, and we made the decision to move to St. Thomas. There are a lot more relaxed and happy people here. I can't wait to be in our own home. I'm done with renting. I'm so ready for this. We are looking to buy our first home together with all the wedding presents and our savings. Our price range is $750,000 up to the $900,000. $750,000. I want two or more bedrooms because of family coming to visit. And I want a big updated kitchen, good for entertaining guests, and do love to cook, so. I want a view, and a pool will be awesome. That's definitely a big plus. And I want privacy. But we can compromise. Yes. I'm here in Charlotte and Molly, St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. I'm working with Luis and Sydney. They're newlyweds who are fortunate enough to have their families helping them achieve the biggest investment of their lives, their first home. They're gonna love living in Charlotte and Molly. Welcome to Charlotte and Molly in St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. Woo!
If you enjoy chartering boats and going out on the water, come and visit us. If you want to buy a home near the water, you're going to pay anywhere from 800000 to the millions. The first property I'm showing Sydney and Luis is a tropical villa surrounded by gorgeous water views. This two bedroom, two bathroom house sits on three quarters of an acre and has beautiful outdoor space for entertaining guests. Luis will love the privacy in this secluded retreat. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Sydney. So nice to meet Sorry you. Sorry to meet you. Oh, pleasure. Finally, hey, Luis. Yeah. yeah. So you guys got married two weeks ago? About, Just about. Yeah. Honeymoon, honeymoon house honeymoon. hunt. Yes. It's going to be great. Yeah. Pretty cool that your family's helping you buy your first home. Absolutely. So I got three great houses set up for you. This is house number one. A little bit of privacy, but also great views. I'm oh. very excited about that. You guys want to go ahead and have a look? Absolutely. Yes, please. All right, let's do it. Wide open, right? Yeah. Not just the space, but the view. Wrap around deck. That's what I want. When I first walked in, my jaw dropped. I mean, it was just gorgeous. So you can walk out good. every direction you want. You could be naked. No one paradise. would see you. That's real, that's yeah, real Let's private. wait till I get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> in the living room, it was beautiful. It was open to where you can entertain a lot of guests, inside or outside. Now, Sydney, do you think you could make some magic in this room? I think so. Yeah. It's got a lot of storage underneath here. Yeah, that is kind of convenient. The open kitchen was awesome because I love to cook. You can still be in the kitchen and have people at the mm -hmm. couch. I'll friends. still be included in their conversations. Right, right. This is obviously a good kind of breakfast area mm -hmm. slash countertop. It's a little short, though. You can always come in and just change out the cabinet base without losing the granite countertop. Yeah. The cupboards are a little bit outdated. I would definitely need to replace these. I want a very updated kitchen. You can replace just the cabin doors. But that's more money. Okay. <laughs> and this is already kind of at the top of our budget. Let's check out the bedroom. Here's your master bedroom. Great. <gasps> I can see myself just waking up and just seeing that. There's no way you can have a bad day. This still has the beams, which we love, well, but. It's just the open space that I'm really right. yeah. concerned about. It's kind of like an intercom system. So everyone can yeah, hear exactly. what we're talking about. But the about. intercom is always on. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, so keep an open mind and think of this as possibly a guest room. If you don't love it as a master, we've mm -hmm. still got options, OK? Let's see more. Yeah. All right. This is your master bath. This is cool. Yeah. Nice tile shower. It's a really nice sink, though. That's yeah, that beautiful. Faucet's That's got that so kind of waterfall nice. feel. Look at that. We got plenty more to see. Okay. All right. All right. All righty. The second bedroom is detached from the main house, but that means privacy, right? Oh, wow. It's so secluded, so it's really nice. Just leave me out there. I'm happy. Closet for you too there. Great part of this, there's another one on the other side of the room. Oh, well, that's convenient. There's yeah. two. So when I get mad at you, you could live right in there. Getting dangerously close to the speed <laughs> room. <laughs> Larger bathroom space. This will be the that's master. Right. Yeah, it's bigger. So let's step back outside, feel that space out All a little right. bit. Right? Uh -huh. All right. So the biggest thing I want you to see out here is this pool. There we go. And the view's still there. Yeah. But you know what? There's more. Oh, huh? Wow, that is amazing. That? So, I mean, what do you think about the house after seeing all of this? The biggest thing for me was the privacy, and I have it. That's excellent to me. Right. It's great for entertaining, but I definitely want an updated kitchen. You have to consider we're at the top of our budget. 
and With that will house. also mean right. that we'll have to do some remodeling. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I'm willing to do that. There are these solar panels, so it actually is pretty economical from That's that good. standpoint. The power here like is ridiculous. The good thing is, you don't have to make a decision right this minute. Uh -huh. We've got two more houses to see. So, we'll meet up in the morning, okay? Okay. Oh, we're so right. excited. The second house I've got for Sydney and Luis is a unique home with four bedrooms and four bathrooms. This home is twice as big as house one and has plenty of space for entertaining, which I know Sydney will appreciate. This one has a second floor unit that could be rented out for additional income. And Luis may love bringing in that extra money. You guys ready for another great day? We're yes, ready. we are. Right. House number two, right behind us. What kind of shape is that? That's a hexadecagon. <laughs> what do you say? Octopus something about Octopus a hex. Octopus oh. Hex octopus, we got it. This house is a hexadecagon, meaning that it has 16 sides. What that does is offer almost complete panoramic views so you can truly be a part of the hillside. You want to check it out? Yes. Absolutely. Let's All right, see game on. Oh, Without even wow. going inside. Holy mess, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is it's amazing. Nice, huh? Perfect for entertaining. Yeah. This is beautiful. Perfect. This is your very own windmill. Oh my wow. gosh. Talk about that saving money. Great. Let's get inside and take a look at the rest of it. Okay. Please do. You have a good view. Open floor plan. The cool part is that this kitchen's really the focal point of this. So you've got almost a panoramic yes. kitchen. Mm -hmm. sense. Oh, yeah. I like this a lot. My first reaction when I saw the kitchen was this is great for entertaining and a lot of space right here. This is great. You um, obviously have a little more updated cabinets in here as well. Yes. The updated cabinets were better than house number one. I like the cabinets. Uh, where is the you oven? Looking. <laughs> You know, unfortunately, this kitchen does not have an oven. It just has the stove top. But you could take out that cooktop and put an entire range. But in that then spot. that takes away from the space. A little bit of the cabinet space. Not having an oven is very disappointing to me. It is something that we could think about putting in. Also mean more money. More money. So master bedroom. I have to point out the wall connects to the ceiling, so we're fully sealed off That's in here from that perspective. Privacy. There's one more great thing about this master. What is the that? The bathroom what? is attached. What a concept. Huge plus. Large shower, not much storage. Do you understand yeah. here that it's actually a fairly economical change out to put a bigger cabinet base with a different countertop? I did not like the counter space. I did like it. I mean, I know the sink area, you do require more. Uh, this is not, oh, I doesn't happen it? overnight. And the second bedroom is just here on the other side of the kitchen. And there is a bathroom right outside the door here. It's a little small though. Don't forget. We got two more. That's great. And the difference here is you have a whole nother floor. Surprise. More than a couple of bedrooms. Oh, oh my whoa. gosh. It's a whole new house. Amazing, a lot of space. One thing we haven't discussed, if you did want to produce some income, you can actually separate this completely from downstairs. You could rent this out or rent the downstairs out and create an income producing property. That's great, that's a great idea. Yeah. When you're looking at a property that's at the top of your budget, keep an open mind and think of ways that you might be able to generate some income by renting out a portion of the space. Be easy to so rent we can out. have tenants or family. You I'm not sure even if I want tenants. I, I, you know, I like my privacy. Now I got one more little surprise for you. How's that for a view? Holy smokes, this is beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> You've got oh the gosh. pool, but right on the edge of the cliff, so you get to experience the view. Imagine us here just, oh. And what do you think about the house in general? I like it. 
Yes. Also, economically, this is great. It gives us an option to rent if we wanted to. We might not want to do the renting. Mm -hmm. And in that case, it might be too big. I'm not sure. Well, good thing is, we've got another great house to look at tomorrow. So when I meet you in the morning, I want you to bring your swimsuits, because we're going to have some fun before we go see house number three. Uh -huh. You want me to bring an extra mankini for you? I don't think I'm up for it. What a diva. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Sydney and Luis are meeting me here at the beach. We're going to go on a little paddleboard excursion, and then we're going to head up to house number three. Seth. So what do you have in store for us today? Well, I thought we might do a little paddle boarding. What do you think? OK. Watch out, student driver. Beep, beep. Oh, boy. Beautiful, aren't they? Yes, well, especially that peach one up there. The proximity to the beach, you're talking about five to six million. Oh, wow. boy. As yeah. you move up the hill, it's a little less expensive. Luis, what are your thoughts on house number one? I like the setup. I love those one amazing beams. And then house number two, it offers us four bedrooms. And you know, if we do want the tenants. So I'll tell you what, when we head up this hill, I think you're gonna love house number three. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. The third property I'm showing Sydney and Luis is a charming bungalow with two bedrooms and one bathroom. It's much smaller than the other two homes, but Luis will be thrilled at the price. Just 799,000. Right behind you, house number three is more of a cottagey feel. Now the great part about it, it's only $799,000. That's good. <laughs> I, I figure we need to see what there. we can get for that price. Let's, see it. Let's get in it. All right. This is nice. I was automatically in love with house number three. It was more private, which I like. It's Cottage nice. feel, this but great. you have a view right when you walk in. I like it. I love this granite. This is my favorite out of all the houses, for sure. And look, what is this? Is this an oven? oven? I don't want to leave you without an oven. Oh, this is great. This is great. It had a cozy feel, and it was pretty, and I love the colors. And it's wide open, so it flows right into your living room. The view, you really can't top from here. But it is a little small. There's not as much space for entertaining. It'll be definitely hard having guests over. It's about time to check out some sleeping arrangements, right? Where the magic happens. Here's your master. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at the view. This is great. I love it. Great. And it's secluded. You know, you're surrounded by nature. And the master bedroom was fabulous. My favorite by far. And one of the biggest sell was the big windows. Here's your master bath. This is nice. I like that. This is the master and the guest bathroom, correct? Because there's this only one. This is the only bathroom, yes. And when that price mm -hmm. point's that much lower, mm -hmm. you know, That's you're trading a bathroom for a few hundred thousand dollars in a sense. Yeah, it is, it's cozy. I like it. All right, we got a lot more to see. All right. So as it's set up now, this is your guest Whoa. bedroom. It's a lot of room. A lot of room. That's yeah, spacious, right? Yeah. But Perfect for our guests, definitely. All right, so let's check out the rest of it. What do you okay. say? What would your ocean view be without another swimming pool? Oh my gosh. This is great. Uh, waterfront, right? For the here. price? So you I got mean, this. think about it. Yeah, you walk Andy to the beach pool. and you get this. It's great, huh? Woo! So, what do you think about house number three? I really do like it. A lot. Really beautiful. It's cozy. Uh, it... Cheaper. <laughs> cheaper. OK, that's like number one. Wow, like, but much smaller out of all of them. It's smaller, but they really did a good job. With utilizing the, the space. space. Tell you what, we'll meet up a little bit later. If you I'm guys still can around. tell me what you figure out. It's going to be super hard trying to decide between these three houses, because they're all great. He Seth has made it definitely hard for us. If we can put them all together, then we're good. That'd be perfect.
Right. The photos. Let the photos decide. Mm, right. House number one. It's a little mm -hmm. secluded, which is nice. Open kitchen. Need, Not need as it updated. Be, right. It's no. already at the top of our budget, too. House number two. Hexadexa Tracalon. Huge. Cool shape. Huge, huge, huge. huge. It has a lot of space for entertaining. It's got a lot of room for It's like the money making income. But we might not want to do that. Then we have house number three. It's like a little love nest. Super cute. I love it. And it's a bargain. I love the countertops. But oh, much smaller out of all of them. I want them all. Hey, guys. Seth. <laughs> What's Whoa. going on? Still hashing it out? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so between the three houses, is there one that you know really doesn't quite fit your lifestyle? Ooh. House number one. one. House number Only one. Only because the kitchen definitely needs to be updated. I mean, we could, you know, invest in it, but that'll just be too much. Already at right. the top of our budget. Between house number two and house number three, which one do you think you guys want to make your waterfront dream home? Oh my gosh, like. Chose house number two. Chose. House number two. Yay. All right. Yes. That's awesome. And you've got that great opportunity to make it an income producing yes, property yes. as well. We picked house number two for my own personal use. It has a lot of space for entertaining. Yeah, I want a beautiful view, and that house has it. Hey, I appreciate congratulations. it. Man. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you so there. much. Yeah. I always like to visit people after they get into their new home. I want to see how Sydney and Luis are doing now that the honeymoon's over. Look who it is. Good oh, to see good. you. Good you to too. see you. How's the house? It's great. Looks Thank great you in here. so much. Living in our new home is a dream come true. Cooking in the kitchen's great. Great for entertaining. What's up, Luis? How are you? Oh my God. So this is Sophie. Hi. Hey. And this is Callie. I guess friends uh, visit more now that you have a nice yeah. pool and the view and everything. Exactly. Right? Eventually, we do plan on renting this house out. But right now, we're just enjoying having our friends and family be able to come. Really feel we made the right choice. That was a big step. We want to stay here forever. Mm -hmm. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Who hasn't dreamed of living right on the water? Beautiful. Oh, yes. I love it. Modern updated. Got it. I'm Nick Waldner, and each week it's my job to help buyers find their dream home by the water, near the water, or on the water. <laughs> This is amazing. Look at that. That's oh, wow. It's like literally right there. Wow. It's not always easy, <laughs> but when you're looking for that perfect property with me, oh, I'm loving this one. The house hunt is only half the fun. Wow. Let's see what this thing can do. Coming up. Jessica and John want to buy a beach home in beautiful Galveston, Texas for themselves and their entire family. Looking forward to having a beach home? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jessica is looking for a house that's fun and feminine with lots of elegant charm. Very elegant. This is what I'm talking about, babe. I'm looking for more of the guy stuff today. John wants a home that has plenty of space for entertaining with lots of room for boy toys. Right? Amazing. Football on this TV, football on this TV. This is, is this? a man cave. Will John and Jessica realize their dream of waterfront living? Boom, right uh, there. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Drop, give me 20. Find out next. My name's John Curry, and I am married to this gorgeous woman here, Jessica Curry. Both of us work for NASA. When John and I met, we had a blended family. You know, he had three children, I had two. He and I are both highly <coughs> driven by adventure. We spend a lot of time on the water, both of us. I love jet skis, paddle boarding. Yeah, we've done all yeah. that. Besides being an engineer and a mom, I'm really big into fitness. For the last five years, uh, I entered into the 
world of bodybuilding, it's, it's a big passion of mine. We live in a suburb of Houston, about 40 minutes away from Galveston Island. We talked about it and said, you know what? Let's see if we can move to Galveston. We're looking in the 500 to $600,000 range. I want, at a minimum, three bedroom, two bath. An open floor plan. Outdoor entertaining area. Water access. It has to feel sophisticated and glamorous for me to love the inside. We've got a big family, a blended family. Her children still live with us. My kids come and visit anytime they want. So you want to have a big enough house to meet those needs. Looking for a house that fits everybody close to the water, we might have to be at the upper end of the budget we talked about. I'm going to show you three amazing houses that you can pick from. Well, let's go look. All right, let's go take All a look. Right, All right, we're thanks. excited. It's great. I can see why you picked this area. It's gorgeous. Welcome to Galveston, Texas. Woo! We have over 25 miles of continuous sidewalk next to the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. There's no better way to ride up and down the beach than in a Surrey limo. Yeah! You can own waterfront property for as little as 400,000 or up to 1.3 million. You never know what you're gonna catch. We have great small stores, art galleries, and fabulous restaurants. The first house I'm taking John and Jessica to see is large, 3,031 square feet, with four bedrooms and three and a half baths. It's listed towards the high end of their price range at 575,000. That sits right on the bay, comes with a large boat dock, and has gorgeous water views from almost every room. It sits right on the water, so you have a dock that overlooks everything. Perfect. Okay, let's right. go. I floor plan. love the view. First thing you see. I really wanted water in my backyard, and here it is. My eyes are immediately drawn to the view of the water. I could totally see myself having a nice cup of coffee, yeah, like the watching the water. Plan. Yeah, it, this is nice. beautiful. Great space. Sweet. It's really Sweet. elegant and chic. Sweet. I just loved it. Look at these stained concrete floors. Yeah, stained nice. concrete. And the best thing about these, Boom, right there. Come on, let's go. Drop, give me 20. Come on. I had to do one more than y'all. Just, just saying. Walk in here to the kitchen. Wow. You have a massive kitchen. Kitchen's very important to me. Look, we can store all of our food in here. Let's get a picture of that. I like this open area. I mean, I can totally picture the large spread of food and snacks. You have all the room in the world. What do you got there? <laughs> what is that? This is actually a warming drawer. So when you're cooking, you can put stuff in here, keep it warm while you're making something else. All of your food comes out hot. So what do you think of the cabinets? This is actually the original color. And then they had these professionally refinished, but she only refinished some and left some other ones as accents. I would like it to be all one, one finish one or the as other. opposed to multicolored. It's a little bit too much for me. Let's look at the master bedroom. Awesome. Excellent. I like it. Check out the view. I love the idea of waking up to this in the morning. It's gorgeous. Bedroom. The windows are gorgeous. The, the, the curved shape. windows, the yeah. shape is very, very excellent. You had the oval up at the top, and then you had the triangular pieces, very ornate, and it's a great view. Of He's got to study his shapes. <laughs> That's OK. Still. <laughs> They have these built-in closets. It doesn't wow. have closet doors, but okay. it leaves it nice and open, and it has this really nice feature. You are going to love this space. Wow, look at this master bath. His and her sinks. Yeah, it's a gorgeous granite with those blue flecks. There's a lot of things to like about this. I could just totally picture myself in that tub. Yeah, that's that's you. You know, Bubble with the bath. chandelier. Let's keep looking. Let's, oh, let's go see do him. it. Perfect for our grandson. He'd love that. And then you have this open area. Ooh, I like this. 
This could be a second family room. This could be a bedroom. You got plenty of space for the entire family. Let's go outside. I really want to show you the backyard. Oh, I'm looking I forward can't to wait. that. Wow. Look at this. There's yachts pulled up out back. You have all this space over here. This is gorgeous. I do like the landscaping they put in. This house is very spacious. It had that real girly feel that I love. I'm missing that guy part of it. Yeah. You don't like the, the stuff on the outside, like the outdoor kitchen, right. the pool. Those kind of things are the things I'm kind of looking for. Guys, I have a great house in store for you tomorrow. And this one has a little bit more of an entertaining area outside that I think you'll love. Excellent. Can't Let's wait. get out of here. All right. The second house I'm showing John and Jessica is also listed at the top of their budget at $595,000. This home is a bit larger than house number one at 3,634 square feet, plus five bedrooms and three and a half baths, so there's plenty of room for the entire family. The house sits on a beautiful lake and has great entertaining space that I know John wants. This is a big house. It looks spectacular. Let's go see what we get. Excellent. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm looking for more of the guy stuff today. Can't wait. I love this. Spectacular. My breath was taken away. It was just so spacious, airy and bright, especially with the view to the water. Imagine how many people we can fit in here, babe. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of room. It looks like the Roman Colosseum, Jess. I absolutely love the built-ins. We have lots of family yep. photos that yep. we like to display, and it's, it's elegant. For you, big TV. Yep. <laughs> yep. The living room in the first yeah. house we saw was nice, but this one we saw today, it was just spectacular. We have a great size kitchen. This is really nice, big double doors. I do like these uh, glass cabinet doors. This is very beautiful to display all my dishes. OK, this is awesome. I can grill and make pancakes and cook spaghetti at the same time. The kitchen was big. It wasn't quite as big as the one we saw yesterday. You could still fit a lot of people in there comfortably. It's a beautiful kitchen. Let me show you the master. So you have the convenience of a first floor master. I would have preferred to be upstairs like away yesterday. from all the noise, yeah. But as the kids get older, they're going to be heading off to college soon. And then you're going to love having this entire first floor. It'll just be the two of you. True, true. So this is the master bath. Oh my gosh. Very nice. You have almost three times as much space yeah. compared to yesterday's. I love the fact they pulled in the mosaic tile there, and that bathtub is just exquisite. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Not that feature. There it is. That's actually fascinating. How cool is that? I still don't get it. <laughs> I'd probably be the only person I know that has a the water coming from the ceiling. Water, you don't get what's not the rainforest. It's so functional. <laughs> Let's go upstairs and see where the rest of the family will be. Love this. It's almost like a second family room. So you have this extra bonus room, but then you have one, two, three, four more bedrooms besides the master, plus a Jack and Jill bath that connects these two bedrooms. Well, that Jack and Jill bath would be perfect for Hannah and Logan. We can fit everybody. The upstairs had lots of room. We could have my kids, his kids over. Everybody could fit in this house very comfortably. Now, check this out. Wow, look at this, babe. The outdoor kitchen that you wanted. Yep, it's got all the fixings. I like the hot tub. I mean, I could just imagine whether it be just John and I or, or the family or some friends enjoying that. So many that. sports center out here somewhere, man. I know. We don't <laughs> have a TV, but we do have these great ceiling fans, so we know it's already run with electric. So I'm sure we could run cable out here, too. This one comes with its own pool. Oh, I love this. And you can sit here and look straight out to the water. Oh, that is nice. That's excellent. Yeah. 
Compared to house number one, this one had all the features that I'm looking for. It had the pool. Well, there's a lot of really nice amenities. But now that I come to think about it, it's a little bit much, a lot of space. I mean, you know, with me working 40 minutes away and with us being so busy, it's a lot for me to clean and keep up. I see where you're coming from, but you know, there's a lot of the things that I like about the house. Only thing about this house and the, and the other one, they're kind of on the top edge of our budget. Okay, let me see what I can do. Let's take the afternoon, introduce me to the kids. Let's have a little fun on the water, see a few houses and talk a little real estate. Much oh, appreciated. Let's do it. I'm just about to meet John, Jessica, and some of the kids. They suggested we go stand up paddle boarding. And while we're out there, I'm gonna have them talk a little bit of real estate. How do you guys feel about them buying a house on the water so you can do this all the time? Oh, I'm super excited. Really excited. Halt, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab these and get out there. Right. Right. Sounds good. Let's do it. Having a place right on the canal. I think this is a pretty cool option. The biggest reason why we wanted to get, you know, a beach home was to have a place where they could all come and have fun and create memories together. Absolutely. I really like the way these are set up. Something where you can put your boat right in the water, have a great time, I mean, this is perfect for our family. Maybe we'll look for something like this tomorrow. Looking forward to having a beach home? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the third property I'm showing John and Jessica is listed at 499,000. It has three bedrooms and two full baths, but only 1,416 square feet. It sits on a picturesque canal with easy access for a fun day of boating or paddle boarding. This one's only $4.99. Well, that's easy. That's good. A little bit smaller. Mm. Let me get you inside, because I think you're really going to like it. Check out this pool. This is what I'm talking about, babe. I can <laughs> totally see us and our friends out here. It's perfect. Let's go inside. All right. I like it. Lots of windows. Just like house number one, you get this two-story feel in the family room. Yeah, open, very open space, I agree. Love the chandelier. This I is like so it. my I taste. Like it. It's not as big as what we saw yeah. yesterday. I was a little bit disappointed in the living room space. I would have liked it to have been a little bit bigger. If we had a good sofa, love seat combination, it'd be, it'd be fine. Let me show you into the kitchen. I definitely love the color countertops. It's all one piece. You can get every single one of us around that. You got the dishwasher. True. I know I'm the one that does all the hard labor, but but you know, just act like you work don't for forget, a living. Don't forget, I do all the cooking. You I just do. make messes. I don't know about <laughs> the cooking. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but oh, it's not quite as big as the kitchen that we had in the other few houses. You're not going to get the same caliber of kitchen because remember, we've dropped down quite a bit in price range. But it's functional, right? Functional's good. Follow me this way. Upstairs is the master. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is huge. Oh, I love the ceiling fan. Very tropical feeling. And the window. And the tile. Love this. Oh, wow. Love the master bedroom. It felt light, bright, airy, coastal, that beach vibe that I was looking for. Let's look at the master bath. Oh my God. I love the tile. Another beautiful oval window to let in all that beautiful light. I can have my shower head shower. and you can have yours. <laughs> now right behind you is your walk-in closet. Very nice, there's plenty of room for your stuff. Let me show you the other bedrooms. Love this room. Very good size and then a nice bathroom. What I really want to show you is the backyard that you are going to love. 
Wow, there's oh. the water. Yeah, we're right on the canal. Oh, I love that. You get an outdoor shower. You're out here hanging out, and you want to drink. You want to make some food. You don't need to go upstairs. Look over here. This is what you were asking for. You have football on this TV, football on this TV. You have a little bar here, a couple of bar stools. This Just is what I cave. needed is a man cave. Boom! I recognize this is your ideal man cave, but it doesn't have the views like that first house had. But you can do all the entertaining you like. The one thing that's a little bit disappointing about this house is the size. It's a three bedroom house, and we have five children and a grandbaby. Fitting everybody, that's a big problem. You made it tough. I'm indecisive, and I don't think she ever agrees with me, so it's gonna be a tough call. We might have to duke it out tonight. <laughs> and if we arm wrestle, then she wins. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Today is the day I get to meet with John and Jessica, and I'm really excited to see which waterfront home works the best for them. Nick gave us a lot of things to think about. He sure did, babe. We had house number one. The, the view, view was house, fantastic. Yes. The kitchen was great. It was well decorated. It had that real girly feel that I love. And it didn't have the outdoor kitchen. The backyard wasn't the kind of backyard I was looking for. It didn't have that beach feel. And house number two also had a really great kitchen. It had TVs. Although, you know, it was a little bit big for me. You know, I, I just don't really want to clean all of that. I like the size of the house because it could fit our whole family. House number three had the best master bedroom and bathroom. But it was a very small. Clearly wasn't going to hold our whole family. It did have an outdoor kitchen that lets us do everything with the family. Hey, Nick, how hey, you Nick. doing? How are you guys? Doing, doing great. great. You know, we had a really tough decision last night. Both on the same page, both in agreement. Absolutely. So what's it going to be? We chose house number Three! <laughs> there are a lot of things that I really liked about house number three. Obviously, the price was right. And it meets all of the needs that we have. What better could we ask for? My two kids, they're almost on their way to college, so soon they'll be off, and I could just see us retiring there. Not just the man cave. It was for everything. And so we're going to enjoy this house for the rest of our lives. To house number three. To, to house, house number, number three. three. I'm back in Galveston, and I'm going to check on John and Jessica to see what they think of the great house they chose. Good to see, Good to see you, see you guys. Guys. Catching anything? Not yet, nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you guys are doing well. Oh, we love the house. The downstairs is awesome. The pool is nice. Oh, Hot yeah. It's great to be outside during the summer. The kids are so happy. They're outside 99% of the time. We have everything that we wanted in this house. I've got my man cave. I've got the outdoor kitchen in here. I can make margaritas. I can watch my three TVs. It's fantastic. Obviously, this particular house didn't have a room for every child of ours. We've actually been able to make it work. We just bunk up. We're close. Honestly, it's the best decision we ever made. I cannot believe the change in my happiness <laughs> since we moved here. What more could we ask for in a house? It's wonderful. Blast up. Who hasn't dreamed of living right on the water? Oh, it's so pretty. I'm Seth Stitcher, and I can make that dream come true. You are right on the water. Wow. It's unreal. This is spectacular. This is amazing. Coming up, Todd and Sarah are an adventurous couple looking for a home in Peterborg, St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. I can't wait until we can call this place home and we own something for real. Sarah wants a home with beautiful waterfront views no matter what the cost. There's an infinity pool. This is amazing. I don't know how it gets any better. It's almost too much house. It is at the very top of our budget. But Todd wants a house that's not even an actual house. Wow, I've always dreamed of this. How am I going to win a baking competition in this tiny little kitchen? Will Todd and Sarah realize their dream of waterfront living? Does it come with the gong? Dinner gong. <laughs> Dinner's on. Find out next. I 
I'm Sarah Hess, and this is my husband, Todd Hess. We just moved down to St. Thomas from Pennsylvania. This is just such a change from back home. You're kind of limited to just being inside in the winter for six months and definitely get a little bit of the wintertime blues. We've been married over two years. We've just been renting so far. You're ready to stop renting at some point and grow up. Bert, right, you ready to go swimming? Come on, bud. Come on, puppy. I've always been attracted to the blue Caribbean water. It's clear, the fish swimming around you, and I don't know, it just makes me happy. Are you ready to own a house, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> It's very important for me to have 360 views of the water. I'd really like a nice, open, big kitchen to bake in. It's actually on my bucket list to win a baking competition. I want a secluded home. I love access to outside, outdoor space, and I could even live on a houseboat. Also really important to me is to have an open floor plan because I think that entertaining is super important to us. So our price range, we would love to keep it under a million, but anything cheaper would be excellent. Do you think Seth is gonna find a house with everything we want? Hopefully he'll be Team Sarah. I'm here in Peterborg, St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. I'm working with Todd and Sarah, who aren't sure if they're looking for their forever home or their next big adventure. Regardless, I'm certain I can help them find their own little piece of paradise here in St. Thomas. Welcome to Peterburg, St. Thomas, in the Virgin Islands! Woo! St. Thomas has over 40 pristine white sand beaches with turquoise water. In Petersburg, we go boating, swimming, and snorkeling every day. You can buy a house between 800,000 all the way up to 4 million and above. My house isn't by the water, it's on the water. The first property I'm showing Todd and Sarah is a private villa overlooking Megan's Bay, known as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. It has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and water views from every room. This secluded home is set far away from any neighbors, which I know Todd will love. Hey guys, Seth, how are you? Good, hey, Todd. good to finally meet you. So you nice well. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sarah. You guys excited for the day? So excited. so excited. You mentioned that you wanted that large kind of baking kitchen, some private outdoor space. I've got three properties that fit all that, but with some variations among them. Okay. This is uh, house number one right here from the beginning. It's $995,000, so it's at the top of your budget, yeah. but I think you're gonna love what you see. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get let's started. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Wow, the this view is, is an amazing great. space, huh? I like to think this is everything that you mentioned to me. We've oh, got outdoor, private. Look, yeah. there's an infinity pool. This is amazing. The view from the pool is amazing. You can see the entire world from here, it seems like. And you can't see any neighbors either, which is a great <laughs> thing. There you go. <laughs> I really was taken aback by how beautiful everything was. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how it gets any better. Well, you haven't seen the inside. <laughs> Let's step in the house and check out the rest of it, all right? All right. Okay. All right, follow me over here. Sure. Now, you guys wanted open floor plan. Oh, That's this an open is floor so plan, right? nice and open and airy. I love it. It's a lot of space, and it was very open, almost like shockingly open. It definitely has that island vibe, and I love that like you can entertain. It's an open floor plan. Right. There's so many windows. It really feels like indoor-outdoor space. Right. But it's more expensive. you got to remember that. It's the main negative. There's just the price. I mean, it's right at the top of our budget, if even over. I think it would be worth it. Right. Move into the kitchen. It's awesome. I mean, there's so much storage space to right. hold all of my baking accoutrement. Oven's nice and big. And there's a big oven. I know. I can totally see myself taking full advantage of the kitchen. Just cooking and entertaining here would be so much fun. 
Talk about counter space. Exactly. <laughs> Look, they've got two small fish on it, but imagine you catch the most <laughs> massive fish. It could be six feet. You've got plenty of room, <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I have know. to take a picture of this. Six foot, seven exactly. foot. That's a great visual. <laughs> Probably a little unorthodox, but in the kitchen, my six foot body out on the counter in front of them so they could really see what they had to work with. And I don't mean my body. Let's go check out the other rooms. Oh my God. Look at wow. this view you right see out that of our. From your bed. Well, <laughs> test it out. Get in the bed. Take a look. <laughs> yeah. It's a good reason to wake up. I mean, it was hard to ever leave the bed when you have this view. Right. <laughs> uh, let's also take a look at the master bath. Believe it or not, you still have the amazing view from your shower. Oh, oh my god. It's a huge shower, too. It can fit plenty of people. <laughs> <laughs> Rare. <laughs> and here's one of the spare bedrooms. The same balcony, that's nice. You got three bedrooms downstairs and three dedicated bathrooms for oh, each bedroom. Awesome. So That'd be guests, great for guests, guests, yeah. Well, I want you to see the best part. Okay. Okay. Follow yeah, me back right. upstairs. Cool. Now this is definitely the best yet. Wow, this is amazing. I can just imagine like having this be like our formal dining room and Eating out here it would be right. perfect. Yeah, it's, it's like an like infinity balcony. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is at the very top of our budget. I know it sounds weird, but it's almost too much house. It's a lot to take care of, a lot to upkeep. I mean, I thought it was perfect, and I'm willing to compromise as far as the budget just because it does have so many things that we wanted. Luckily, I have got another great option for you tomorrow. Okay. So we'll meet up in the morning. Do it all over again. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. The second home I've got for Todd and Sarah isn't even an actual house. This 38-foot catamaran has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and is priced well below their budget at $200,000. Living on this luxurious houseboat would be a daily adventure for Todd and Sarah. Island living, like this every day, right? Oh. Beautiful. So where are we going? You had mentioned that you would like to live on a boat. Mm -hmm. Definitely. House number two is right behind you. No way. What? Yeah. Get out awesome. Of here. It's a 38 foot catamaran. It's got three bedrooms, two baths, so it's got the space that you need. The beauty of this whole thing is that it's $200,000, which is wow. super below wow. what we've talked about. Now, there are some added expenses when you live on a boat, but I think it's a pretty cool opportunity to oh, live absolutely. right on the water. Definitely secluded. When you live on a boat, there are a lot of additional expenses. You have dock fees, fuel costs, and a lot more maintenance than a regular home. However, being that it's only $200,000, it's well within their capability. Wow. I can't believe that this would be our back porch. You also have solar panels right here, right above the dinghy. Use the sun. Yeah, it's amazing. Free energy. Let's check out the actual living space in the kitchen, all right? Yeah. All right, we'll ring the dinner bell as we head in. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. Definitely doesn't have the size of the first house, but it's all here. And it's an open floor plan, considering it's a boat. You're right there with your guests as you're cooking for them. Right, right. <laughs> Just explore the kitchen as if you, you were going to use it truly for a meal. I mean, there's more space than you think. Things are yeah. tucked away. Is you got a refrigerator. refrigerator. There's a freezer over here as well. OK. So you really have more space than meets the eye. Yeah, there's definitely some options as far as the oven, but this is such a small kitchen compared to the one we just saw. How am I gonna win a bucket list baking competition in this tiny little kitchen? Here's the master berth, okay. as you call it on the boat. It's definitely cozy. I like the woodwork and everything. It feels very nautical. Is the optimal word here. <laughs> <laughs> we just saw house one and it had a huge master suite, 
it's a trade-off. Yeah. You trade a little bit of the space for a little bit of a different lifestyle, and you right. know, if that appeals to you. Just be expected, the bedroom's small. Right. But is the master bathroom close by? It or? is, it is. Okay. It's right here. I'll step out of your way. It's in this door if you want to check it out. Sure. Uh, is this the shower? I, I, that is the shower. This head. is the shower. So this entire room is the shower. Don't forget, you can take a bath right off the back of the boat here. Well, That's so not true. just that in there. More my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the exciting part. A lot of people ask for his and hers sinks. In this case, we've got his and hers bathrooms. Oh, okay, All that right. makes sense. Let's head over and check out the setup on the other side. Nice. It's twin bedrooms and bathroom on both sides, his and hers, which is nice. So it's all go. the cabinets, yeah. And you have two of these on this side, so you've got uh, you know, some functionality and yeah. option. I want you to go see the real pleasure of being on this boat, okay? Okay, okay. sounds right. good. Follow me back up. Sure. Come on up, have, have a seat, enjoy Oh my it. god, this is amazing! So we can talk about kitchens and bathrooms and bedrooms that and all that. That stuff doesn't matter That's when you're this. That's exactly right. <laughs> I really could see us going on a permanent adventure, and it would just be a great way to see that much more of the world. Babe, just think how much under budget this house is. I mean, it's true, but it's the trade-off is the upkeep. Anything that might come on is still going to be under budget for the other houses we're looking at. Rather than just sit here and talk about it, mm -hmm. let's take this puppy for a sale. Oh my God, can really? we do that? Yeah, absolutely. Let me grab Dennis, huh? Okay. okay. We're ready there, Captain. <laughs> so having seen house one and house two, mm -hmm. what are you thinking right now? House one was an actual house, had Tons of space, so many tons views. of views. I mean, I was super taken with house one, but sitting here sailing, drinking wine, You're I mean, right. it's awesome. I got one other little surprise for you. We're on our way right now to house number three. Really? That's so crazy. <laughs> Captain, can you take us to house number three? To house three we go. Just pulling up to places and being like, this is my boat. You can't really ask for a better perk. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's head up Let's front do it. here. You lead. The third house I'm showing Todd and Sarah is a remote villa located in a tropical jungle with majestic views of the water. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, but like house number one, it's priced at the high end of their budget. However, this home has direct access to the beach. What a perfect spot, huh? This is super secluded. Yeah, it definitely has more of a jungle treehouse feel already. Right. Yeah. Oh, this is really cute. And I feel like we're a little bit closer to the water. Looks great so far, but it's not a boat. I can't <laughs> argue with that. But there's a lot of features in here I think you're going to like. Can't wait to see it. All right, yeah. let's get inside. OK. Awesome. This is super right? eclectic and definitely gives you like a tree house feel, don't you think? It's a lot of woodwork. Exposed beams and everything. It looks like you could do pull-ups on that bar right there. <laughs> oh, there you go. A little, yeah. a little morning workout every day here. <laughs> do my workouts here. That's definitely a memorable moment. <laughs> Ready? There's more to see. OK, yeah, let's, let's check it, it out. So this kitchen sticks with kind of that character yeah. Got a different feel. Definitely all new appliances. I can bake in here. The sink, the sink is unique. Everything about the place has a lot of character. Does it come with the gong? Dinner gong. <laughs> Dinner's on. I mean, everyone will hear that. They might hear it on the north side of the island. That's right. <laughs> It's definitely different, and it's a different vibe from House One, totally, because it's not as huge, but it's bigger than the boat. I'm just not sure how I feel about the style of the kitchen. I feel like it's a little disjointed from the rest of the house. Here is your epic master bedroom. This is really nice. It has wow. a nice light feel to it. First, I think we ought to check out this amazing deck out in the jungle. If this isn't paradise, this nothing is. This is so is. pretty. 
very private. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> I don't see any neighbors around, so mm -hmm. check out around here. Us. Surprise! Oh my goodness! Wow. <laughs> always dreamed of this. <laughs> You've always You've dreamed, dreamed of this. I had to say it was the first for me when I, I saw it. I don't know anything to do but laugh about it. So there's not a shower, it's just yeah, uh, the... shower's built into this rock. Oh, I didn't notice right. it the first sure. time either. <laughs> kind of like the bathroom teeth. on the boat. You can do everything in one it's, place. But... I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. There's a theme happening here. The toilet is very interesting. I would make use of it. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. This is one of three bedrooms. I really like the canopy. From yeah, the bed, it still feels kind of like a tree house. Well, let's move on and check out the bathroom. Oh, this is cute. I like the this sink. The sink is kind of original. Yeah, it's a like being unique, underwater. A lot of unique stuff in this house. <laughs> well, let's check out the view. OK. This is my favorite part. Yeah, this is so pretty. What a view it is. It's a bright one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's definitely private. There's no neighbors here. Right. So yeah, we get the view and the water, wave sounds too. What about the houses in general? What do you think? There's definitely some great options. <laughs> it's a very hard decision. It's a lot to think about. I'm going to give you some time, let you think about mm -hmm. it. We'll meet up tomorrow morning, and you guys can tell me what you decide. Thanks for all the great options. We have a very hard decision to make. We would love to live in any of them. Maybe make so, a pro-con list. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting. So do you want to make some bloodies and we'll talk this thing out? Sure. So I'm starting with house one. It had the gates that we walked in. It was super open. Yeah, the pool was great. The outside area was awesome. It had so much room for entertaining. Oh, and then the next day we went to the boat. Yeah, the boat was awesome. It was indoor, outdoor, living. I mean, the kitchen was super tiny. It's a boat, though. Exactly. House three was a lot different than house one, though. A little more cozy, a little more wood. And then, hold on, that's your favorite part, the outdoor bathroom. The outdoor bathroom. <laughs> Can't forget that. Hey, Hi, Seth. Seth. We're so happy you're here. You guys you been doing, deliberating buddy? all night? It's been a long did, night. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think about the three houses, is there one that stands out that you know you can kind of eliminate? House three just didn't really fit the bill as far as outside entertaining. I just didn't feel like it had enough options. I guess it's that moment of truth. You've got <laughs> house number one with the pool and the amazing views. And you've got house number two, that liveaboard catamaran. Which one do you want to make your waterfront dream home? We Thank chose you. house one! choosing house one because it just had so much more outdoor entertaining space, which is really what we were looking for down here, kind of that indoor-outdoor lifestyle. We loved the boat option, but we kind of wanted to set down roots down yeah. here. Yeah, like maybe in retirement age, we'll yeah. go houseboat. But... Absolutely. All right, well, hey, cheers. cheers to new beginnings. Cheers. New beginnings. Thank you, Seth. Babe, I'm so excited. Always the best part of my job. I'm headed over to see Sarah and Todd and see how they're settling into their great new place. Hey guys, obviously enjoying the place, at least this space, right? Yeah, we've been settling in. I'm just gonna grab some quiche if you wanna help me. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Dry off there, buddy. <laughs> Holy moly, this is great. It's perfect, I've been loving cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, I've been baking. Obviously I have to use this oven and all the space. We love living in the house we chose and Bert loves the pool, of course. Might as well enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit cold at first. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sunset in St. Thomas. Congratulations, guys. I'm so happy for all the adventures that we've had, but buying a house in St. Thomas is the biggest adventure we've had so far. I couldn't be Sorry. happier. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't dreamed of living right on the water? Oh, it's so pretty. 
I'm Seth Stisher, and I can make that dream come true. You are right on the water. Wow. It's unreal. This is spectacular. This is amazing. Coming up, Stephen and Sarah and their two kids, Dakota and Kinsley, are moving from the hustle and bustle of Dallas, Texas, to the sunny shores of Aguada, Puerto Rico. I cannot wait to find a house. Steven wants a turnkey home on the beach where he can walk outside and jump right in the ocean. Wow. This is my favorite spot already. And Sarah wants a hilltop home with sweeping views of the water. You see how nice it is to be on a hill oh, man. overlooking the ocean? Will Steven and Sarah find their dream of waterfront living? All right. All right, we're off. There's your dream, honey. Woohoo! Find out next. I'm Steven. This is my wonderful wife, Sarah. And we have two children, Dakota and Kinsley. They're 13 and 5. Steven and I are from the Dallas, Texas area. We have decided to move to Aguada, Puerto Rico because we were looking for a tropical destination that also had mountains. I cannot wait to find a house. We own a remodeling company together. We've moved from construction to remodeling and design, where we service high-end clients. We thought it would be very beneficial for our children to be immersed in other cultures. So we decided Puerto Rico sounds like a great place to be. And we can take advantage of the tax breaks. And jump. jump. Ah! Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know how to play that game. Well, let's watch and we'll learn. I love living in Puerto Rico. It's just more beautiful than Texas. <laughs> We have been renting in Puerto Rico for the past six months, and we're ready to buy our dream home. What I'm looking for in our home is at least four bedrooms. A house that's more of a turnkey, so I could stop doing the laboring and just kind of do a little bit more playing with the kids. I would like to have an ocean view from the hills. I love water and sand, but not in the house. I would like to have something right on the beach. Do you understand the sand that comes with living at the beach? Sand for days. We're trying to stay under the $700,000 price range. On somewhere. the beach. Or with a view. <laughs> Seth's got a big job. <laughs> I'm in Aguada, Puerto Rico, where the Caribbean Sea meets the Atlantic Ocean. I'm working with Steven and Sarah, who are looking for a home to raise their two children. They're going to fit right into the welcoming lifestyle of Aguada, Puerto Rico. Welcome, Welcome to Aguada, Puerto Rico. is roughly the same size as Connecticut. Aguada, Puerto Rico is the best place to raise your family. This is what we do here in Puerto Rico. Yeah! The first property I've got for Stephen and Sarah sits right on the beach. Priced below their budget at $625,000, it has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a spacious backyard for Dakota and Kinsley to play. With this home, the ocean is their very own playground. Hey, hey Seth. Hey, Seth. How are you? Good. Good. Hey, How about yourself? Good to see you. Great to finally hey, meet Sarah. you. Nice to meet both of you. So you guys have laid out some great ideas of what you're looking for, and I've put together three properties that all vary a little bit. Well, this is house number one, and you can hear it. We're right on the beach. Yeah, that's yeah. I like it. Let's Check go. Let's All right, get it. let's do it. Oh, wow. Now you wanted open, you wanted the views. It yes, is it does. Beautiful. This is nice, Seth. Uh, I was really wild by the wonderful view of the beach. Definitely what I was looking for. Well, you know, <laughs> living at the ocean, we're going to have regular maintenance in case you haven't noticed the oh, yeah, this. common occurrences when living on the water. When a property is oceanfront, there's a lot more maintenance involved. The salt air really takes a toll on the metal in the home and the paint. It really has to be factored into the budget when you know you're going to spend money on maintenance over time. Yeah, the yeah. salt water is rough on it, but the beauty of the salt water is the beach. 
Oh, wow. You wow. Tenfold. Here, have a seat in the hammock. See what, see what see you see think. See if I could do this on a daily basis. I suppose it's not too shabby. However, it uh, looks like a front row seat for a tsunami. Oh, honey, it's been at least 20 years since they've had one. We'll be just fine. Now, remember, this all wraps around. So you've got a door on the other side, too. And the kitchen is right here. Kids are in here doing their thing. You don't have to disconnect from them while you're in the kitchen. So you got the corner sink. That's a nice space saver. And I know that laminate counters and cabinets are all the rage in Puerto Rico, but I'm kind of a granite and wood kind of girl. Let's check out the master bedroom. Wow, chicka wow. <laughs> I love the view. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, Very nice. I like it. And massive closet. I need closet. Now this is my domain. Very nice. I have plenty of depth back to the wall there. They kind of have a little dated feel to them, but lipstick and rouge and fix right. it on Mess it. it up a little. All right, well, let's check out the master bath. Spacious a lot master. of space. You got the big Whoa. open shower. The tile's in really good shape. I like the design. I'd like a little more Changed color, up. but that's easy fix. Okay. Oh, bidet. You know, yeah, we're big well, fans of the yeah. bidet in Puerto Rico. We can hold nice hands. <laughs> it's, very very nice. <laughs> it's very nice to have a Maybe fresh tush all day. That's right, fresh <laughs> tush. Mm -hmm. All right, let's yeah. move on. So you got enough space for two beds in this one. You got built in cabinet. Very nice. And remember, you got two more bedrooms, and they're all basically like this. I can see this being Kinsley's room. Yes. A little bit of princess paint and call it done. There you go. The best part of the house is outside. Well, let's see it. Ooh. A lot of yard space. Oh, wow. Holy buckets. It's unreal. Yeah, wow. this is my favorite spot already. I mean, how many people get this kind of backyard? I couldn't ask for more. I think the backyard's fantastic, but I really just prefer to see the ocean from a hill. No oh, hurricane coming through. But there's through. no sand castles. There's no giggles from the kids. This is exactly what I'm looking for. It's on the beach. It's got plenty of yard. It's not necessarily the turnkey I was looking for, but um, I'm willing to sacrifice a little work to get the ocean. But the maintenance on an oceanfront property is just a huge issue. Good news is we have two more to see. Sarah wants a house on a hill, so I'm going to show them this immaculate home with breathtaking views of the water. It has four bedrooms and four bathrooms with sleek modern features throughout. It's priced at the high end of their budget at $695,000, but Stephen will love that this house is turnkey. This wow. Is, this is nice. You wanted hillside, I got you hillside. And it's all completely move-in ready. There's nothing for you to do with oh, this wow. house. Oh, wow, you hear that? It's exciting for you, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Well, let's get in and check it out. Let's yeah, check let's it out. check it out. I don't hear any waves crashing, though. <laughs> <laughs> that could be an issue for you. <laughs> That's what a man Here it is, completely oh. contemporary oh, wow. and finished. There's no projects right here. Very nice. The view is amazing. See how nice it is to be on a hill? Oh, man. Overlooking the ocean and how less threatening it is. I'll give it to you. It's pretty, but yeah, you no can't really tsunami. get in it and play with it and interact with it. With some great views, but it didn't have the ocean in the backyard. And... I mean, it kind of does. When you look in the backyard, there's the ocean. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I might just point out the fact that these windows aren't peeling. Nothing's peeling. You Isn't don't have that, that nice? salt air, right? This is why you wanted the hillside. Nice? Yeah. yeah. Let's check out this kitchen, see if it'll make sense for you. All right. Get in there, feel it out. 
Not very bad. nice. I love the glass front cabinets. Mm. The sink's very nice. Everybody loves a deep sink. It hides the dirty dishes. That's it. Mm. What's that right there? Little oh, wow. Hidden cabinet Man, there. Look at that. Engineering Honey. at its finest. That is huh? insane, isn't it? I'm not a huge fan of the white everywhere. I would probably be wanting granite and wood. Do you like this one better or the last one? I like the other one because we could remodel it. Uh, I know okay. that really excites you. Projects, No, no, I Projects. like this. This one's ready to go. But it's not me. I would rather do my own kitchen. But at the price that this house comes in at, the cost to do that is very high. This is the master bedroom. Oh, oh yeah. I love High ceilings. these oh, ceilings. Buddy. Me too. Much more space yeah, than buddy. house number one for the master. Honey, look at the view. Oh, wow. Here, to me, is the best feature. So you have that one night where you disagree. You don't have to go to the couch. <laughs> and then when you make up, Push them back together. That is thinking ahead. And if you think this is great, this master bathroom, unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Very modern. I like that there's not any work to do once again. <laughs> not any work to do. I like this shower, too. It's Very so well designed, and it's a winner. Now we've got additional bedrooms downstairs. I have to say, these stairs look a little bit like they could be Dangerous for the small ones. Oh, okay. they're not that bad. So three bedrooms down here. This is one of them, and it's got a dedicated bathroom. One of the others has a dedicated bathroom, and then there's the half bath up on the main floor Very as well. Very nice. The best part is yet to come. Oh Follow my. me. Oh, wow. This kind of speaks for itself. Oh, wow. <laughs> now this is oh, outdoor man. living space. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is finest. awesome. When you're looking for property, factor in some of the outdoor space, too. Outdoor space is often used as much or more than indoor space. Let's There's go. more? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. How about this, huh? This is nice. I like this. This is awesome. Well, of course. I love the coral stone. That's one of That's my nice. favorite choices. It's not on the beach. And that's what I really want. But, but it's um, in the hills with an ocean view, and that's what I really want. Well, the good news is we've got another great house tomorrow. But before that, I want you guys to meet me ready to go out on the water. Oh, okay. Oh, right. wow. What a treat. Let's get out of here. Steven and Sarah are meeting me at the beach today. We're going to head out in an outrigger, see some houses from the water, and then go see house number three. What this do you Jeff. have? Good this morning. Is Johnny. You guys hop in here. All right. All right, we're off. Woohoo! These houses are spectacular. Yeah, they're amazing, huh? Yeah, those houses are beautiful. There's your dream, honey. But I'll tell you what, the cool thing is, we're gonna head to house number three, check it out. I don't know if I can handle a third option. Oh, come on. <laughs> the third house I've got for Steven and Sarah is a Spanish-style home with tons of character. Unlike the other two homes, this one only has three bedrooms, but it's priced well below their budget at 590000 I figured this was a nice compromise because we're still hillside and we're so close to the beach. I love but. that. And I love the Spanish architecture. It really reflects the Puerto Rican culture a lot. Yeah. You guys want to check it out? Yeah. I would love yeah. to. Let's go. Cool. Come on in and check this out. Now tell me this isn't open. Oh, oh, we want it open. We got open in all directions. How wow. beautiful. This is magnificent. I, I love like the teak ceilings. That is so nice. When I walked into house number three's living room, I was blown away. The teak ceilings had a very rich Spanish flavor to it, as opposed to the contemporary like we saw in the last two homes. 
it's not a Puerto Rican house unless it's got at least one set of hammock hooks in it. <laughs> nice and comfy. So, I could lay here all day and listen to the kids bicker. <laughs> You go to this amazing kitchen, you still have basically another living space. Oh my oh, goodness. Man. Oh, this is awesome. So it's wide open. Yeah, it great is. Great lighting. I've been saying wood and granite is what I would do in a kitchen should it be mine. So you it's got really that. nice that it's all done already. I don't know what you prefer when you cook, but you got a five burner gas stove, but the oven is electric. That's a That's Mac cool. Daddy stove. Come check this deep fryer out, honey. Pretty fancy. House number three had more to offer in the kitchen. Had more room, more counter space, more cooking equipment. And everything was in, in great shape. The views out the kitchen are not quite as to die for. The views in house one and house two from the living area in the kitchen were huge. Missing a view is a huge deal. Here's the master. This is beautiful. So much more space, huh? Yes. It puts those other two bedrooms to shame. I love the ceiling. Nice. I like all the ceilings. The master bedroom in home number three was gorgeous. It had a very rich Spanish flavor to it, as opposed to the contemporary like we saw in the last two homes. Here's your master bath. That's pretty good space. You got a large shower there. You got a little bit of light coming in. I love the vessel sinks. There's a little character. Let's go see the rest of it. An additional bedroom. Wow. Yeah, I like it. Pretty spacious. Yeah, I like the high ceilings. Love the wood. Now, each of these two additional bedrooms, you've got a dedicated bathroom. Very nice. I need to remind you how close we are to the beach. That's a plus for me, for sure. Let's check That's it out. Awesome. It's almost like living right on the beach, right? Beautiful beaches yeah, this is in it. Puerto Rico. You can ask for more. What do you think about house number three? I, at least, love the Spanish architecture and the wood ceilings throughout, but the view was really lacking. I think it's a spectacular house. I enjoyed it. It is going to be really tricky to choose. Oh, man, they're neck to neck. I'm kind of torn. They all have a lot to offer, and they all have their own little quirks. Picking the house of your dreams is kind of a big deal. Maybe looking at the pictures will help us, huh? Yeah. What about house number one? That was very beautiful. It's beachfront. You just walk out your back door and jump in. But you know, I'm a little bit concerned about the maintenance on the beachfront home. Like but then it. house number two. With house two, it, it was spectacular. That was dreamy, wasn't it? It was up on a hill with immaculate views. It was turnkey, but it, it's minus the beach. House number three, I like, I like the Spanish architecture a little bit more, especially since we're in Puerto Rico. It had the most space of all three houses, but there's no views. What's going on, Seth? How you doing? What's up, guys? Hey. How are you? You put a lot of good options in front of us and made it a little bit harder than I'd like it to have been. Is there one that you can pick out that you know is just not the home for you? House, house number, number three. three. Number three? Yeah. yeah. House. Yeah, the house was beautiful. It was right. a nice house. It's not the, the house, it's the view. <laughs> OK. What's it going to be? House number one or house number two? We chose house number one. the ocean that sold it for me. That's what I was wanting from the get-go, and the house had a lot of opportunity for Sarah to put her own personal stamp on it. Don't forget we set some of the ground rules about living <laughs> by the beach. Rinse our feet. feet. Rinse our feet off. And the right. windows will stay scraped. Congratulations. Thank you, Sarah. You got it. You got it. I'll be in touch. Oh, man, the kids are going to be excited about the beach. Steven and I love living here. 
Wow. This place looks great. Thanks. This home has given us everything as far as the beach, whenever you want it. We don't run out of activities to do. Hi, Anne Dakota. Nice to meet you. And this is Tinsley. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about living by the beach? Burning sand castles, <laughs> giant ones. What about projects? Oh, there's a list. This is most people's dream. <laughs> Even with all the chaos. Uh -oh. Lost the ball. <laughs> There's nothing better than watching the sunset and hearing the kids playing and laughing. We're super happy, and it's just been a blessing for my family that I thought it was going to be.